Hi boys and girls, welcome to another writing lesson today. So last time we started doing opinion writing and I want to remind you that opinion writing is writing in which the author tells how he or she feels about something. So today we're going to write an opinion all about what you thought was the funnest activity we've done in school all year. So I'm so excited to get started and model this week's writing prompt. I already have my name and date at the top I'm leaving out the actual day because that might be different for you depending on when you're completing this activity so what Miss G thought was the funnest thing that we did this year was that she absolutely loved teaching you how to do letter craftivities we did a letter craftivity for every single letter A through Z and it was so much fun because I got to feel so creative with you guys so today I'm going to start my story with a sentence prompt. I'm going to say, I liked letter crafts the most. And then in my second sentence, I'm going to give a good reason because good writers, when we do opinion writing, we always support our opinions with at least one good reason. So here I go. I'm writing from left to right, always a capital in the beginning. That's the first reminder on my writer's checklist. I liked letter crafts the most. Want to count how many words are in that first sentence? I liked letter crafts the most. Six words start from the beginning. I, two finger spaces, liked. I already know the high frequency word like. L-I-K-E. What letter do you hear at the end? liked sounds like a t but i know that the d sound at the end can sound like a d d d or a t t t sound like in the word liked i liked letter crafts letter let's count how many sounds in the word letter ready l a d er letter so four and remember kids we're doing phonetic spelling that means listening to the sound and then putting the letter for what sound you heard your writing does not have to be spelled perfectly what I do care about is that you're growing your brain being an independent writer writing all by yourself okay I liked letter l l l eh, eh, eh. D, d, d. Letter, er, er, er. Letter crafts. K, er, cr, k, er. Ah. I liked letter crafts. The two letters make the th sound. Do you remember? T H. And there's an E at the end. The, I liked letter crafts the most. 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 Period at the end. All right, so I just stated my opinion. I just said that I thought letter crafts were the funnest thing. So I know you might not agree with me, and that's okay. This is my opinion. It's how I think and feel, which might be different from, from how you think and feel. So I'm going to say in my next sentence a reason why I thought letter crafts were the funnest. And I'm going to say my reason is I got to be creative. Okay, I got g g g got g got got to that's a high frequency word t o easy peasy lemon squeezy to be b e b b e creative now that is a, a very long word but that's okay we can sound it out starting from the top from the beginning K let's count out how many sounds first of all K -er -e -a -t -e -t 
if, ooh, I'm going to have a lot of letters there. But if I get lost in my word, I'm just going to say that word over and over to myself until I get all the letters I think in the right order. K, 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 er, e, a, creative. That's the last part, tiv. T, iv, tiv. Three more sounds. Iv. I think I got it. Creative. Period at the end. Let's use my writer's checklist. Did I use a capital in the beginning of every single sentence? Yes. Did I use my finger spaces between every single word? Yes. Did I use an end mark or punctuation at the end? Yes, I used periods. And lastly, did I make sure my story makes sense and looks right? I need to go back. I know I reread some of my, uh, I went back to reread my first sentence, but I always need to go back to reread my whole story. Let's do that right now. Read with me, please. I liked letter crafts the most. I got to be creative. Yes, makes sense to me and looks right. So, very end, what you can do now is make a beautiful illustration to go with your story. Miss G is going to do that just very quickly. Here's Miss G, and she is holding up the letter A, and we made a letter craftivity A for apple. And in the end, our craft looked like a little apple, and we got to take them home. Here's Miss G. And here are some friends on the carpet, just so excited, ready to get started. Some of you guys might be giving me a 10. Or just quiet hands in your lap and a smile. Some of you guys might be giving me a five. Let's label friends. Friends. Here was our letter craft. Letter craft. Craft. And here I am, Miss G. And I'm going to add at least three colors. If you can use way more than three colors, that'd be so awesome. The more colors, the more details, the better. It makes our readers more interested in our stories. Okay, there's one color. I'm going to aim for two more, and then it's your turn to get started. All right. So that was Miss G modeling this week's writing prompt. I hope you feel super independent and excited to get started on your story. If you would like to share your writing story with me this week, I'd love to see it. Have your parents email it to me to my email. What a nice job. I will see you next time in our distance learning adventure together. Good job, boys and girls.